this time to do something completely different. We've ditched all the usual gear and we've got a completely different setup for this one. Um, the summer solstice happened like two nights ago. So yesterday was the longest day of the year. Uh, so obviously the nights are starting to draw in now, but um, the sun's out. It's been a beautiful day. We've been to a birthday party. Happy birthday, Big Dan. Many happy returns. Um, but when we get to the other end, I'll get you out and I'll show you around the stuff that we've got and the setup that we've made. As you can see, we've made it. We're here. It's only about an hour away from where we live. Um, but like I say, we're just trying something different. Um, just bring it up here so I can give you a better view. Some of you may recognise it and some of you may not. If the audio is not very good, I've just left my microphone down in the car. <laughs> this is home for the night. We were up until um, about 10 o'clock working on the car. Um, on, as it happens, the summer solstice. So what we're doing is, if you can see on the windows, we're making these covers. So it's like a blackout blind. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to have a little car camp. So in the front window, you can just about see through there, uh, we've got an old grow anywhere blind, blackout blind that you usually use for your bands um, and the bedroom windows. <clears throat> All we've done is we've just stuck that in the front window. We've got a pano roof here so hopefully if the clouds keep off <clears throat> we should be able to see the sunset. No not the sunset, some stars. And Fingers crossed, some northern lights, because it should be pretty dark out here. Um, but what we've done is we've downloaded an app that tells you where um, there's car parks that allow you to park overnight, car camp, put your camping, um, camper vans up. But yeah, so we've downloaded that, we've found this place, and so far it looks pretty good. It's cosy in here. Hopefully it's going to be pretty dark as well. I'm just spinning you around to show you the view. So this is the view for the evening. I don't think that's too shabby, do you? Not quite the same as a tent. But like I said earlier, something different. I'm going to try something different. And that's tea sorted. Chicken fajitas on a wrap. Very much a part of his exit strategy. Oh, well, well, that boy ain't gonna be going nowhere. And I'll tell you why. See, deep down, he doesn't want them. An insight based on one boozy lunch. No. Well, we settled down and watched an episode of The Gentleman. Um, it's now like five past twelve, so we're going to settle down and get some sleep, and I'll give you the verdict in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We're up and we're brewing coffee. Uh, this morning it's not the Jogo straw. This morning we've got um, the AeroPress fresh ground coffee. Uh, last night was was relatively successful actually. 
um, quite a broken sleep, but it was alright, we were comfortable enough. Um, I'll just show you. So, in the windows, we've got like this, it's like an insulation sheet um, that we've just cut in the windows and then shoved up. Um, it doesn't completely black out, but it does a pretty damn good job. And then in the front window, this is just a, like I said yesterday, the, the Grow Anywhere blind, which that's done a really good job. Um, so yeah, would we do it again? Yeah, probably. It's a bit cramped in there when you've got the beds and that in, but it's doable. Um, let me just take you around the other end. I mean, obviously we've got breakfast here, um, clothes, um, grinder for the coffee, and then the bed, uh, which is big enough. And then we've got the panoramic roof up there, but we didn't have that up, um, open, sorry, because as we were settling down, watching the gentleman last night, we started falling asleep because we were absolutely knackered. We had a few late nights. Um, busy days. Um, one of them was when we were doing this, uh, these blinds for the windows. Like I said, it was a summer solstice, so I mean, I doubt I'm going to get this ed the video edited for a couple of weeks because I've got another one to do, which you'll have already seen, hopefully. But it was a summer solstice, and we were up to about oh, it must have been ten o'clock by the time we'd finished doing it. But it all worked really well. Just need to refine, refine a few things. For the first one, it was decent. Uh, the next one, I think we're looking to go up to the Hadrian's Wall, maybe. But I'm sure you'll see that next time. Hopefully after a couple more camps. I'm going to go and enjoy a bit of coffee with my good lady. Um, and some breakfast. Because I'm that good. And I'll pick you up in a minute. Well... There's another successful camp done, uh, a little bit different. Not much footage on this one though, so hopefully it'll be a bit of a shorter one for you. Um, the last ones have been a little bit longer, obviously with having the kids and that. Um, but uh, it is what it is. Just a short one, uh, as you can see. We're all packed up. Obviously we've still left no trace. Uh, parked up in a car park though, so I mean, it's, it's slightly different than a wild camp, but still same principles. But yeah, uh, it was all right. Um, we've just obviously been to the hut because when we turned up last night, it was uh, it was it was quite late, uh, so the the hut was closed. The ranger wasn't here. Uh, we dropped in. We've paid him a tenner, and um, now we're off. My good lady's just gone to use the facilities because unlike wild camping, they've got toilets here, so that's a bit of a bonus. Uh, but like I say, I used that um, that app to find the car park and, and obviously the reservoir. Um, I will put up where we are. So obviously, if you if you'd like to try it out yourself, you can do. But I mean, yeah, it's 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 been it's been a nice, pleasant evening. Um, but there was a little bit windy. The wind's coming straight off the reservoir, but other than that, no dramas, it's been lush, it's been really nice. Got a bit chilly last night while we were outside, but other than that, it's been spot on. So until next time guys, remember, leave no trace, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for coming back. We were just on our way home, and driving well, we're not far from where we stayed uh, came out of the car park down the driveway turn right out down the main down the country road the country road on the way home uh, you might be able to see in the distance there the car but as we were driving along we came to this little gem how pretty is that I couldn't resist not bringing you along to have a look 
How nice is this though? I don't know what it's here for. Maybe I should do a little bit of research. Plenty of bikers out. Yeah. We'll just bring it down here. Because there's some like doorways. Oh, stinging nettles. I've got my shorts on. Well, just some kind of like turrety room. A little bit of shelter though. Maybe you know, that way. I can't see what's through here. You've got three windows. And then that one there. Yeah, very nice. Ah. And uh, a random log. <laughs> Maybe someone's camped up here. There's no sign of any scars from campfires. But to be honest, it's not the worst camping spot I've ever seen. Bit of shelter from the wall. Uh, fair bit of road noise, but... Oh, there's another one over there. I don't know if you can see that there on the camera. But on the next hill along, there's like another ruin. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to do a bit of research. How nice is this? Huh. I'm pretty sure there's some lakes just over here. Plenty of bikes. Might have to go up here. Sure, there's just a lake just over here somewhere. That's where it said in the map. That could have been where it just came from. There is a reservoir though, rather than a lake. Excuse me. But yeah. How nice. Oh, I found a hole. <laughs> this is very Alice in Wonderland. So if I disappear, and end up in some fairy tale, you get to come with me. You come in. Oh, that's like the coal bunker. <laughs> and then back out the other side. <laughs> Very Alice in Wonderland. I figured what I'd do now is I'd bring you down from the other side and give you a look from this way. Uh, and while I've been climbing about doing my recordings, my good lady, in true form, has been doing a bit of googling. And apparently, this is called Codger Fort. C O D G E R. Is it an old codger? Excuse me. It's a bit more rocky and less accessible down this side, but it's still beautiful all the same. And then from the other side, obviously you can see the, the road. And we came from down here. Uh, you can just about see that farm in the distance. I think we came about as far as that. So yeah, all this 
I say very little bit more inaccessible well still a little gem and on that note I really will leave you until next time I'll come back and see what we get up to in the next video take care guys till next time <laughs>